Hi. Okay. So you have the three letters, right? And it looks like just off the bat, these are kind of long right here. So what you need to do is um, we need to get all of these on the same row. Okay. So I'm going to scooch everything over. So here's this one. Now on this one, you want to ungroup and you want to flip these standing up. I mean, I guess, yeah, you do. Um, so you want to grab these two and go to rotate and rotate 90 degrees. So they're standing up. Okay. Then we're going to move our P over here and same thing with our P we're going to ungroup and then we're going to grab the three tabs and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees so that they're standing up. Okay. All right. So now we have all of these. What we're going to do is go ahead and get, I mean, it doesn't really impact us that much right now, but I mean, I just get rid of all the, um, the little triangles and squares, but it doesn't, doesn't totally matter. Sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. Let me move this over so that you can see. So now what you want to do is you want to grab your whole file, all everything on here, and you want to go to align and you want to align bottom and hold up. Our C needs to be bigger. Hold on. Um, let's ungroup that for a second. Let's move. Uh, it needs to ungroup some more. Okay. I don't know why my C came in so small, but I'm going to make this bigger for a second. Kind of to match everything else. Okay. Does it match the, make it a little bit smaller. Yours will probably come in properly. I don't know why my C was like significantly smaller. Okay. So grab everything and align bottom. Okay. And then we're going to make the height 11.5 inches. So what's driving the height is actually your letter F. The F, this tab is the longest tab. So by default, this is the one that can be 11 and a half inches. Everything else is going to be smaller than 11 and a half inches. So at this rate, your letter P is only six and a half inches. Your F is 6.2 and your C is 5.8. Oh, that's the, ins the insert. So sorry, let me move this out. I think this is the C that it comes with. Or is it this C? Oh, there. I think it's the blue C. So, sorry, I don't know why that's so weird. Let me move these over. So what you can do is kind of like what I did with my 10K that I'm working on, is you could, let's see, the F, this is the longest. Your P could be much bigger, but the problem is this is, well, let's get rid of the, the little dash lines. So when you get rid of this, your F is actually only, gosh, it's only 5.8 inches. So it's, it's under six inches because this piece is so long. So, uh, 5.8, this is 5.8 as well. You could make your piece slightly bigger, but then your letters are going to be kind of off. So mine, I think my 10K, the K is going to be a little bit smaller, but you could resize your P because P right now, oh, see, P is only 9.9 .9 inches. You could go up to 11 and a half inches on P, right? But then your letter P is going to be 6.8 inches, and this is only 5.8. It's going to be a whole inch taller. So that's unfortunate with this F. That's really all you can do. Now, what we could do with F is, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's try to go to, um, let's try to go to 12.5 inches. Okay, 
So what you could do with F is, this is 12 and a half inches, right? But if you rotate it to the side like this, this, see, this fits, right? So this becomes 6.3 inches, this is 6.8 inches, so that's a little bit more acceptable, but look, this is this can fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because it's only nine inches by 10, but you have wasted space, right? Because you can't put anything here and anything here. You could actually make this even bigger. It still has room to, to be bigger, so you could even, let's grab this. So let's realign your F, um, align, bottom and then go up to maybe even 13.5 let's see if that works okay so at 13.5 this one you would also would have to go on its own sheet right it would have to be twisted sideways so twisted even more okay a little bit more so this is 11.4 by 9.5 you could technically cut it on your 12 by 12 piece of cardstock your F goes up to 6.9 your P goes up to 6.8, so that's fine. That, that will be very even. Let's see if we can get this diagonally to fit. Okay, yeah, you're good. So this is 11.3 by 10. So you could do that. So this is as big as it can get using 12 by 12 cardstock. This becomes 6.9, this is 6.8. Let's go fix our C. So our C, Let's go, oh, see our C is tiny. Let's go up to 11.5 and see what happens there. So at 11.5, your C is 7.44. So seven, how tall is this again? 7.4, oh, so it's, it's way big. So actually for your C, you could reduce it a little bit, maybe go down to um, 10.75. Okay, so at 10.75, this is 6.9, 6.9, makes sense? All right, I'm gonna save this and send it to you.